Hey subscribers and YouTubers, look what followed me home. 1937 coupe, it's a Plymouth in amazingly original condition. Let's check this out. I was able to pick this up uh, from a kind gentleman out in the middle of farm country down in the center of uh, Illinois, uh, where it spent all of its life down there in Rochelle. Illinois. Let's take a look. Let me back up a little bit so you can really see this thing. All right, there we go. Better view of it here. Uh, it's as, as original as you can possibly imagine. It is just incredible. Uh, sat for about 40 years on blocks in a uh, garage down there in Rochelle from 1964 to 2014. All right, let's go around this way here. Just take a look. Just amazing condition. Spectacular. So, uh, very original. In fact, all original. Well, let's take a look inside once. Uh, here, before I go too far, even has some of the original pinstriping there. Uh, it's been repainted in spots. Looks like with a brush or something. Uh, here we go inside. The original interior. It's all there everything just amazing condition sure it's been worn and used 64,000 original miles i'll show you the speedometer in a second yeah let's just take a quick look at the dash here there we go over here slide over there we are yeah let's go over here too you look at these gauges uh, and every single one of them works. So I even have the original keys. Now, how often does that happen? 83 years old and it has all the original keys to it. Say Plymouth on it. Uh, let's see, which one fits? Is it this one? It is. You can take a look at the fuel gauge, the amps, that sort of thing. Here, let me turn it off and on a few times. You can see how they all, all work. It charges, it drives wonderfully. And we slide on over. Okay, let's take a look in the glove box, see what we find here. Well, let's take a look. First thing we find is this vehicle tax. Looks like some kind of registration of some sort. Here, let me zoom in a little bit. There we go. Uh, let's see, 1964 uh, for their some kind of you know, vehicle tax. Um, so maybe part of a registration, that sort of thing, uh, but never applied, uh, still on the same original paper. Um, so this car, again, was stored on blocks from 1964 to 2014. So this kind of helps prove that fact that uh, they didn't even register it and left the tag in there. Uh, let's see, what else do we have in here? We got some, these are some taillight lenses. There's two of those in here. Let's see, yeah, two of those. Uh, let's see, this is license plate assembly. Four sets. All right, there's no screws in there. Here's a shift knob, but that shift knob does not belong to this car because it already has one. And we got some of these here. Uh, looks like some dome lights or something. But the thing is, I've looked and I, I can't find out uh, find where they go. So if you do, let me know. Uh, let's see. Oh, we also have this matchbox well, let's see what does that say that says john Carl carlson insurance agency down in rochelle of course so uh, again is there any matches nope all used up and there's a taillight bulb too a spare one well that'll come in handy uh, six volt of course all right so that's what's inside here also have the original horn button uh, you can see it's kind of taken apart here. Well, this the horn um, actually works. However, the mechanism uh, that holds this button in is broken off right through here where my thumb is. Uh, that I'm going to have to repair. So the spring that goes on here to hold it together, uh, you can see it, there's nothing really left to hold the retaining ring on uh, this lip. So uh, I'm going to try to find a replacement or an original one, but uh, I think I'm just going to have to repair this. Uh, keep it all original. Uh, of course, try to preserve this vehicle as much as possible. Uh, so let's take a look. Uh, being a business coupe, let's take a look in the back seat here. These seats fold back. And what I found interesting is they have this canvas 
and you have these little knobs here let me get over here where you can see them there we are you can kind of put the tab in and that holds this kind of plasticky kind of canvas here but underneath here is generally where you put your spare tire uh, I'll show you that it's in the trunk right now but uh, that's where the spare tire goes so there's virtually no back seat in here uh, but we'll put the seat back and let's move around to the trunk which I sh just talked about again license plate light still works let's crack this thing open I got the keys to this let's lift it up there we go so there's the spare tire here and here's the hear me step back a little bit you can kind of see how big that trunk is huge just massive but again back to original stuff again you got the original you know mat back here um, all of it it's there looks like it's seen some use over the years no rust through anywhere on this car it's unbelievable uh, a little bit of surface rust sure but no rust through as you look through here uh, just in amazing condition some of the original wiring that goes up here to the license plate light um, just just amazing here let me uh, close the trunk here oops this is gonna take two hands okay after the trunk there's the tail lights little bullet tail lights just in original condition we have the tires here these are the uh, 16s uh, by six uh, they're, they're big tires now these look like they've been around for a long time I can kind of zoom in here a little bit you can see they're very checked you know the tread is is amazing but uh, I'm gonna have to replace these these probably were last you know replaced probably back in the 50s or 60s um, but a little bit too dangerous to run them now even though they hold air and got good tread on them uh, so we'll move along here all right one thing I wanted to show you here let's go in the back um, over here push the seat up and what I find interesting is be, again behind some canvas here there's some shelves there you go some shelves in here let me hold this here try to fold this up there here's an old gas pedal for some reason uh, what I found is a whole bunch of these too these little pins these little pins are they look like hat pins from back in the 30s and 40s they're all over the place here um, and I even saw some up here you know up here to hold some of the uh, original headliner in so uh, that's probably what they're uh, a second purpose of those um, I believe this is used to uh, for the lug nuts I'm not sure I don't have the other tool that goes over it I'll have to look for that this looks like some kind of other breaker bar of some sort part of a tool uh, that's missing but uh, I'll see if I can find that eventually but uh, very interesting yeah some paper down here this I can't tell what it is it looks old name address looks like something that came in the mail yeah mail talks about it up here so some kind of card yeah business reply you just kind of send it back so that was laying down there uh, no other pieces that I found inside but all in all again back to amazingly original original floor mats in here yeah it's tore up down here a little bit let me get over here original pedals um, here's a lever here some of the original wiring this particular knob underneath the dash runs the optional heater over there the fan so uh, that I find quite amazing and uh, that's how that works of course you got your emergency brake there there's vacuum lines that go down here that run uh, eventually all the way up to over here is your windshield wipers run off of vacuum of course now to access them I'm sure they're long frozen up I moved this button of course and that vacuum line down below doesn't do any good but uh, that button or this probably turns them on and maybe regulates them somehow but you're gonna have to remove part of this headliner to access them well that's something I'm not planning on doing anytime soon um, so as we go around the front dash here what I find also amazing here 
you just carefully leave these stickers on here. Um, you can barely read them, but it has the the date here, way down here. April 16 of 1962. Oop, here, let me get down here where you can see it. Right here. So this is when this particular st sticker was applied. And as I look at the mileage, it, it looks like at about 60,000. Again, with 64,000 uh, miles on it now, um, you know, that seems about right. And there's some other stickers here too, and I'm not going to peel these off at all. Uh, kind of peeled them back, but they're at the 55,000 mile mark. And there's even one behind here too. So uh, this one says um, Mendota, Illinois. So I'm gonna have to look that up and see where those are located. Um, but you can see how those original stickers are still there, which are just amazing. So the question is, does it run? Well, of course it does. So uh, let's fire it up and see what it sounds like. Okay, yep, let's uh, first of all turn the key on. And then what we do here is we push in the clutch. I like to put it in neutral over here. I'm gonna to try to do this all with one hand holding the camera. And then what you have is the starter pedal way up over here. And it's got a long throw on it. So you really gotta hit that thing uh, pretty far to get it going. But let's, uh, let's see what happens here. Listen to that thing purr. I'm going to do is pull out the choke just a pinch let it warm up a little bit there we go all right well let's pop the hood on it let me uh first of all put the brake on that seems to work quite well off we go this is a 201 cubic inch here let me open this up and do this all one-handed here lift up the hood And listen to that thing purr. Listen to that. That is original. I don't think that engine has ever been apart. And it's got to warm up a little bit. I know it can run a little bit smoother. But uh, there it is. So the carburetor had some work done to it over there. You can see that that's been completely rebuilt and actually restored. Uh, and I know some of the distributor has been worked on as well down there. So the vacuum advance. If you look at this uh, original generator down here, original starter, uh, it just runs right away. Really nice. Um, down here is the master cylinder. Uh, that was replaced, but it just purrs right along. Uh, just amazing. Here, I'll go over to the other side. Let me put this side down. Okay, same thing, you pull the lever, you lift it up, and there we go. Set it down carefully. Yeah, check out that. Original air cleaner. Oil bath, of course. You can see some of the oil in here. Again, that carburetor was rebuilt. New hoses were put on a few years ago, uh, after 2014. But uh, new spark plugs were put in, new wires. There's a new coil up there as well. Everything is just in amazingly original condition. So, let's shut her down a little bit here. At least close the hood here. Okay, I'll lock that up here in a second. Okay, I got it down on the road. What I find fascinating too is how you can just crank out the window here. This was a big feature on this car. Uh, in their manual, or the, actually their brochure talked about, hey, how this thing was not exposed and it was recessed a little bit. Uh, such a cool thing. Uh, so anyway, the window opens up so you can get some air in here. Um, so I got it running, as you can hear. Let's just go for a little spin, take a quick look. Of course, it seems to be charging just right, no problems. Let's get it in first gear. And uh, I'm gonna try to do this all at once here, holding the camera, but here we go.
It's the short ride today. I'll be taking some longer ones. <laughs>